Hello students, welcome to this video. This video is uh, part 1 of your uh, physics chapter 1 question answers. Okay. From this exercise, all the answers of those fill in the blanks and choose the correct answer is already given in the book. So, we will do only from the question answers. Okay. So, number 1. Number 1. Define matter. What is its composition? So, we know that anything which occupies space has mass and can be perceived by our senses of touch, smell, sight, hearing and taste is called a matter. And matter is composed of tiny particles called molecules. Okay. Number two, name the three states of matter. The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gases. Number three, what is a molecule? The molecule is the smallest simplest and smallest particle of a substance which can exist independently okay which can exist independently number four mention one example each of each monoatomic and diatomic molecule monoatomic means only having one atom and diatomic means having two atoms okay so molecule consisting of one atom is called monoatomic example argon and that example of diatomic is oxygen number five what do you mean by intermolecular spacing so intermolecular spacing means the space between the molecules of the substance okay so the space between the molecules of a substance is called intermolecular space Number six, describe a simple experiment to illustrate the existence of intermolecular spacing. Now, the experiment is like this, okay? Take some water in a glass and mark the label of water with a marker. Now, you put some salt and stir it nicely, okay? After some time, we will observe that the salt has completely mixed with the water. But the label of water will not rise. Why is the level of water not rising? Okay, it is because there are some space present between the molecules of water which will be filled by the molecules of the salt. That's why the level of water will not rise. Okay, then number seven, what do you mean by intermolecular forces? Okay. So, the answer is the forces of attraction between the molecules of a substance is called intermolecular forces. Now, number 8, what are the forces of cohesion and adhesion? So, when the force of attraction is between the particle of same substance, okay, particle of same substance, then that type of force of attraction is called cohesion. Whereas, if the, if the, uh, force of attraction is between particles of two different substances, then it is called adhesion. Okay. Number nine, state three characteristics of molecules of matter which determine its solid, liquid, and gaseous state. Now, the three properties which determine the state of matter as solid, liquid, and gases are as follows. Number one is intermolecular space. Because in solid, the molecules are tightly packed. There is no space. In liquid, there is little space. Okay. And in gases, there is lot of space. So, number one is intermolecular space. Number B is intermolecular force of attraction. Okay. Because the intermolecular force of attraction is strongest in the solid. Okay. Little weak in liquid and very weak in uh, gases okay and number c is the movement of molecules number 10 how do solid liquid and gases differ in following properties size shape and density now size we know that all the substances whether it is solid liquid or gases okay they are made up of very very tiny small particles okay shape only solid substances have definite shape, whereas liquid and gases do not have any shape, definite shape. They take the shape of the vessels in which we keep it, keep them, keep it, isn't it? Number three is density. Among the three, the solid, liquid and gases, solid is the most dense, then liquid is medium dense and the gases are the least dense. Thank you.